So what we're going to make is an Easter card, okay? And you are going to have one of these card blanks, which has got pre-folding down the middle. And uh, you're going to be able to just fold your card and then write your Easter message inside. But it would be quite nice to make it decorated on the outside. And rather than draw on this card itself, I'm going to give you, I've given you on your table a piece of blank card which fits as if by magic straight into that space which you'll stick on. So we're going to have a go at doing an Easter bunny. bunny. And what I'm going to show you first of all is how to create a, can we all see this? I'm going to show you some guidelines to, to, to be able to draw this so that it's the right size and you do need to be paying attention and listening and probably easiest to watch this on the screen. Um, and this bunny is going to be placed so that it's nice and evenly distributed inside the rectangle of your paper, okay? Very easy when you're drawing and you start somewhere without giving yourself guidelines to end up drawing them too small or too big and having to squish it in at the bottom and you'll end up looking a bit strange. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that first of all. And what I'd like to do, you to do is just to watch to begin with and then um, you're gonna have a go at drawing. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is to draw a, a light and, and these are guidelines, okay? So guidelines, as we all know, need to be nice and light. So I'm gonna do a a gentle line that goes across the top and that's basically where the ears are going to get to so we're not going right to the top of our page okay then I'm going to draw myself a line which is not quite halfway down can you see whoops camera shaking now hopefully you can see that if I make the line slightly darker you can make that out a little bit better so it's not halfway down that would be about there I'm going a bit up from there, and I'm going to give myself another horizontal line, okay? And then I'm going to go a little way up from the bottom to about there, okay? Hopefully you can see that. Can you all see that? And I'm going to give myself another horizontal line. So what you're going to do is when you get your pencil, you're going to make these three horizontal lines across your page. And try not to make them too dark, because it would be really nice if these can be rubbed out before we start to add color, okay? All right, so with your pencil, thank you. What you're gonna do is have a quick go at drawing those. I'm just gonna pause this. All right, so hopefully you've done that and you're ready and watching to show, so I can show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw this guideline here and because it's a mirror image on the other side, we're going to draw the same sort of line on the other side. So hopefully you can make up, make out how far into your page that is. And what I'm going to do is give myself a vertical line. Can you all see that on the page? And then I'm going to turn my paper around, because it's easier doing it that way, and give myself another vertical line like that. So we end up with a kind of grid. This is going to be like a sort of avocado shape in this section here. So look at the screen. It's like an egg. Yeah, egg is a good one. Good shape for Easter. Okay. So that's our egg shape going inside this largest rectangle on your page. Okay. So try and get an egg shape to fit in there. In the sort of, try and find the center spot in that egg. And what I'm going to do is draw so if, that, if that's the centre spot, I'm not going to use that. I'm just showing you where we're going. Just below that centre spot, I'm going to draw kind of like the top of the Y that's been flattened out. Can you see that? It looks a bit like the top of a Y and it's been flattened out. Kind of like a chevron. Good, right. And then I'm going to draw a vertical line down from there. About that long. And then... I'm going to continue, and from that point, I'm going to bring lines down, which are going to kind of form the cheeks of the, the mouth of the rabbit. Right. 
All right, so we don't, we're not making definite lines. I'm still making my lines quite sketchy. All right, that's fine. Don't just go with it. Then I'm going to go from the end of the, the top of the Y, so here and here. Look on the screen, here and here. And I'm going to form just a little line, again, sketchy lines, something like that. I'm going to come up to this point here and this point here. So remember, mirror image of the center point. I'm going to put a little mark to show you where I'm going and a little mark here. And I'm going to bring a kind of curve down to there. And it's going to be the same on this side. I'm going to come down a little bit further from this line here to a little bit further. And this is where we're going to actually draw the eye. And it's going to be like a back to front C. OK. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side, except on the other side, it's not back to front. It's actually a C. So I'm going to go up from the top of the head, and I'm not going right to the middle of the, the, the head. I'm going either side to that point and that point, OK? And then I'm going to go up at an angle, but not all the way to my line. And then I'm going to go across and make a little curve at the top. Watch what I'm showing you. And then I'm going to come down. And then this is going to fit back into the head just above the eye. And I'm going to lay down some light tones. So I'm not going to go dark in places. Thank you very much. All I'm going to do is take um, on the watercolor pa um, pack, I'm going to take the top of the four, and it's a kind of like a, a burnt sienna color. And I'm just going to use, this may well come out a bit too dark, but everywhere where you can see that on this image,